Alrighty guys, spring fever has sprung. Yeah, we technically have a week left of winter, but it is like 50-ish degrees out right now. It feels warm, it's sun shining, it's thawing out. I'm just loving it right now. So it's a great day to get outside and walk around. So I'm gonna do a little tour right now, show you all the spring, summer type attachments that you can use to accomplish your tasks, your chores, your projects. Brief overview of each one. We have a lot to cover in this video, so make sure you stick around. So maybe you don't know where to start. Maybe you don't know what tool to use. We're gonna give you a little visual, let you see something besides just the pictures in the listing, get a better look at some of this equipment too, and get your wheels churning on what you want to accomplish this year. So we're gonna start here and wander around and cover as much equipment as possible in a short amount of time. All right, so this is a Yappa firewood processor. I promise you we're gonna show you this thing. We've kind of been delaying a get together with Bob up at Metza Machines, but this is a three point hitch PTO driven version. They have self powered versions, uh, towable versions, all sorts of stuff, but a really sweet unit, a lot of other videos online, so check them out. Now, funny enough, I don't sell this one myself, but I couldn't find another reasonable a reasonably priced company to work with on a cedar. So I found this one, I bought this on Amazon. I'm gonna do a review on this one, use it myself this year, but this is a field tough 60 inch cedar. So too big, too heavy to lift up with a subcompact tractor, but something like a two series or a B series will have enough capacity to lift this up. So stick around until later this spring for this video. This is an ag spray three point PTO driven sprayer. So we do have the booms on here now. We can spread this all the way out. And they also have a boomless version too. This is 55 gallons. Uh, comes with a wand also, but very popular sprayer. We're gonna do some video on this too this year, either out here or at a different property. These are one of the big players in the sprayer game and a pretty competitively priced unit too. You're staring at our dirt dog rotary cutters, brush hogs, bush hogs, thrashers, slashers, choppers, whatever you wanna call it. But we are getting these in gray this year in four foot, five foot, six foot. Uh, check out the video we did comparing these versus the Frontier or these versus flail mowers, which are another great option to consider. We carry Del Marino flail mowers in a manual offset, a hydraulic offset, just depending on your horsepower range, your tractor size, the different adjustments and hydraulic outlets that you have. And the other mower you may want to consider for larger acreage applications is going to be a Rhino flex swing mower. We can get those for you in 10 foot or 12 foot configurations. They will have hydraulic wings that raise and lower really cool we used one out here last year we have about 15 16 acres that we're mowing i probably could have stepped up to a 12 foot and i may do so this year blades of all kinds are going to get used this spring and summer you have your rear blades or your greater blades your greater boxes or your lamb planes your box blades pulverizers there's a lot of different tools you can use to grade your driveway to to grade your landscaping to grade out different areas and smooth and level and contour the ground the way that you want to so dirt dog is who we're going to work with and partner with on all of those different solutions we do have some left over from last fall and over the course of the winter in green and in orange but we are going to get gray in as well that's what we're transitioning to again just to make things more universal and depending on the type of blade you'll have four five six seven or eight foot in width a rear blade like one of these that's going to kind of angle and, and pivot and swing around. You want to go about a foot wider than you normally would with a box blade or a land plane because as you angle it, the overall effective cutting width is going to narrow. It's going to shrink. So go a little bit wider on your rear blades, but on a box blade or a land plane, you typically want to match up with about the width of your outside wheels. Now, I'd forgotten about these two. I have yet to ever use one of these, but it's called a rollover box blade. So you can just easily position these shanks all the way down to do your rip and work and then retract them as well. A pretty sweet concept. You don't see this a lot in the smaller box blades, but more the, the bigger ones. Like these are 72 inch. I think we have some 84, 96 around here as well. Uh, Dirt Dog did a really good video on that too, but I'm sure I'll find an application for it this year. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. If you are feeling tippy on your tractor, adding wheel spacers can make a big difference. Bora Spacers are made in America. They have a lifetime warranty. If you'd like to get more information, we'll put a link down below on where you can buy them. As far as trailers go, we have a couple of options for you. A single axle version. We have the tandem axle as well. We also have a hydraulic version that's coming in too this year. All of them are available through UltraTech. We did a video all about those last summer so you can get more information there. And again, just a reminder guys, we sell and ship all over the country. We got to do some video with these grapples this year. Now these have a John Deere quick attach on them. You can get them with a the skid steer quick attach too, but really for your larger tractors or for skid steers, uh, they're built like a tank. They look like a, like a dinosaur head. <laughs> they're just absolutely enormous and monstrous, very thick steel all around. Uh, you can make 
the bottom teeth independent. There's this bolted on plate that goes all the way across to give it more of a flat bottom surface if you want to, but a very cool attachment. I gotta try one out this year. Right here we have a precision tree puller, all right? So this is made to go on the front of a skid steer or a pretty good sized tractor as well. It's got a skid steer quick attach on here. Pretty sure we can get these for you with a John Deere quick attach if you wanted to, but you're gonna need a lot of power in your front end loader, but it's gonna clamp onto a tree, rip it right out of the ground. You also have a sawtooth edge on the outside so you can just drive back and forth if you wanna to try to saw a tree over and just knock it over that way. A really cool screen, protective screen right here. I don't know, might make it, eh, it's not too bad to see through it right here, but a nice protective way to have uh, that cover there as well. Now we're gonna use this on our 333G skid steer sometime in the very near future. Now, just like those transformer head grapples, we do have a tree puller available from Martach as well. Tilling season is coming up for a lot of us really soon and we carry dirt dog tillers for our five, six and seven foot lengths. We are gonna carry ideal tillers for our four foot. Last year it was Tar River. We're trying to get away from the China stuff as much as we possibly can. So ideal is a company that is uh, just in middle America, makes a lot of great kind of the dumb steel too, you know, the, the box blades and rear blades and that kind of thing. But we wanted to get their tillers in. They're gonna be a good fit in the four foot variety for your subcompact tractors. Landscape brakes are something I really came to appreciate last year. And we offer these from Dirt Dog in a 60, 72, 84, and a 96 inch variety. This is a 60 I'm standing in front of right here. 84 behind me, got a 96 down that way and 72s uh, down this way too, but a very handy attachment. We use this actually to grade the driveway, to collect debris, do some trail maintenance to a lot of different uses for a landscape rake. Super handy. You're not gonna typically break the bank on a landscape rake either. And you just seem to always find a way to use it. Now, the one thing these don't really excel at is gonna be on your lawn. These are just too heavy and too aggressive. They're gonna rip up your turf too easily. So the solution for that is something called a dethatcher rake. And that is something we offer through CMP. And that is something that's gonna be much lighter weight, much less aggressive on your lawn. So you can still collect uh, all the debris, you know, for your spring and fall cleanup, even do some raking of your leaves, so to speak, with the tractor itself. You can scarify for uh, overseeding. There's a lot of different uses besides just the name of dethatching. We've done several videos with those, so check them out on our site. I can't wait to use these all-purpose plows this year. I'm not sure what tractor I'm gonna put it on and try it out, but this is something I was really excited to get in. I've never used one before, even though you would think all-purpose plow is kind of the generic go-to, but I just haven't had an opportunity to. But again, another dirt dog item designed to prep, prepare your soil, loosen it, break it up, the big closet, the big clumps too so you have disc carls you have the all-purpose plows you have rippers you have tillers you have box blades really even with the shanks on there too a lot of different tools you can use some pros and cons to each one we're going to do a lot of in-depth videos on these attachments this year we have a big old playground out here to try to mess around with and and get to know some of this equipment and highlight it for you when it fails when it succeeds what works well what doesn't and try to help you make the most informed decisions all right so here we have our heavy duty subsoilers we did a video on this um, a couple of weeks ago i guess it was and the ground was a little too frozen yet, so we'll do a follow-up video with this working like it should with unfrozen ground, but you can see these things. I'm six foot three, and these are <laughs> nearly half my height. You gotta look at how thick the steel is on those ripper shanks as well, but these are heavy duty, single shank or double shank. Now we did show a version which already sold. We only had one of them come in so far, but more of a standard subsoiler that's gonna be for your smaller compact tractors that'll work a lot better with those versus these guys that are made for your large compacts, your utility tractors, that kind of thing. But the point being, we have a lot of variety there. Last year, these aerators were a big hit, especially the 48 inch, which is great for your subcompact tractors. But these are a really good price point. Last year, we were, we were green and orange. This year, we're doing, again, just gray. If you want to order one for the fall now, in a green or an orange or a red or a blue or whatever, I would do it now so you have it in time. If you want to see the video we created specifically about the aerators, we've done that on a lot of these different products and we put that right in the listing on our website for those that we've done. So head on over there to check it out. Here's a good look at the Colta Packers that we have in so far. We've got a 60, a 72 and 96 inch varieties here. I think we have a red 84 inch right now too, but you can see uh, the different sizes, diameters of the wheels that are on there. Most of these are gonna be notched that help break up clods quite a bit better, but these are a really good tool. If you don't wanna invest in a big, heavy, expensive uh, overseeder of some kind, you can just get a broadcast spreader. You know, you till or you plow your ground up, you broadcast spread. So cult packers are typically used at two points in the planting process. After you would plow your ground or till your ground, work it up, 
You'll run this through there to kind of smooth it all out, break up the clods, level it, make it a better seed prep bed. And then after you do your broadcast spreading, you come back through and you'll run it over again and kind of pack it down in there and have that good seed to soil contact. So a really cool attachment. I'm sure we'll have an opportunity to use it this year at some point out here on the property. Now, I don't personally have a need for bale spears, but I know that a lot of you do. Dirt Dog offers a very high quality bale spear for the John Deere Quick Attach and the Skid Steer Quick Attach. But as far as the weight capacity or the pound rating goes, these bale spears are going to be as high as I have found in this kind of a category for you compact tractors, you utility tractor owners out there. So I'd encourage you to check these out. We chose to carry, they call it a single spear, although it's technically three, but it's one long spear up top and two kind of stabilizer arms that are down uh, below just to kind of keep things in place and keep it from getting wonky as you're, as you're moving about. But again, Skid Steer Quick Attach, John Deere Quick Attach, we can ship them all over. All right, here's part of our grapple stash that we have out here. And grapples are a whole other subject. And again, we've done a lot of videos on these two, but you're gonna see some electric options available. You're gonna see hydraulic options available. The brush crusher, you may have heard of that, is the mechanical option. If you don't have the extra hydraulics on your tractor, you do need a third function or a diverter kit to run a traditional hydraulic grapple. Well, if you don't have that, you may want to go the electric route or the mechanical route. So look at the in-depth video, the, what do we call it? The ultimate grapple guide, I think it was, but it's going to go over all the requirements that you need, but we carry grapples from WorkSaver, from Precision, from Brush Crusher, from HLA. There's a huge variety, a lot of big decisions to make, but it's better to have more options than not enough. Let's talk about buckets for just a minute. Now this is a four in one bucket, so that bottom will open right up and close back down hydraulically. This is a big heavy bucket, it's over a thousand pounds. We use this on our skid steer. Now HLA also offers a standard compact utility bucket too. So if your bucket is worn out, you need a replacement, maybe your tractor didn't come with a bucket, whatever the reason is, HLA makes some really high quality buckets there. As far as stump buckets go, we make our own stump buckets. We have a mini version that is well suited for subcompact and small compact tractors. We're also coming out with an HD version, a heavy duty version for the larger compact tractors. That'll be out hopefully by early summer of 2022. So just in a, in a few months from this video. So really, no matter what type of bucket you're looking for, we can help. Here's a good look at the chippers and chipper shredders that we offer from Wallenstein. These are a Canadian company really high quality, like a 0% failure rate. We never have an issue with these. Did a video comparing a chipper and a chipper shredder last summer. So check that out if you want more information to try to help you make a better decision on what's the right fit for you. But we try to keep some of these in stock pretty much year round. They're kind of a steady seller, but for those spring cleanup jobs coming up, you can't beat one of these. Here's a good look at a Wallenstein skidding winch. This is the model FX85. A lot of different models out there to fit your tractor, but something I have not had a chance to use. I've sold a few of them. There's a lot of videos out there, so you can get a lot of information, but we are a dealer. We can sell and ship these all over the country. I am going to be doing a video with this soon, sometime really soon. We just got to get it hooked up and knocked out. There's just only so much time of the day, and we haven't got there yet. Here is a PhD, a post hole digger. These come in a lot of different shapes and sizes depending on your tractor if you have a subcompact uh, we can get you one with an auger that's uh, i think it's six inches shorter because you don't have a lot of lift height on your three-point hitch so it'll be a better application for that but a 300 series 500 series 700 series there's a version that we're getting in that actually bolts to the side of your bucket if you have third function hydraulics you can actually run it hydraulically right up front gonna have a skid steer version all sorts of stuff coming about these post hole diggers this year so check out the website for more information these spico quick hitches are our number one seller far and away. We sell an absolute boatload of them. We've done a lot of videos all about them, but they make hooking up three-point attachments that much easier. Take away 90 plus percent of the pain out of the process. The difference with the Spico quick hitch is that they don't use the bushings that are found on pretty much every other quick hitch that's on the market. So it's a direct fitment to a category one pin. So those lower links on a cat one um, attachment are going to be seven eighths. And that's a direct fit here. No reason to buy an extra bushing to go over top that you have to pay and add on to every other attachment that you have. So check out the Spico quick hitch again, another one we sell and ship. Now this is more of a year round type of tool that you need, but ballast weight is critically important. We've done all sorts of videos on the topic. You need a combination of things like what you see with these wheel weights here. There's actually about 1200 pounds of liquid ballast inside these rear tires. We oftentimes hang suitcase weights in a weight bracket. We sell a whole combo kit for that or a ballast box. You gotta have different combinations to get the required minimum ballast weight so that when you're using your front end loader, you are not gonna wanna tip that tractor up when you have a big old log or a big set of pallet forks lifting up something heavy. But you need all of this rear ballast weight, this rear counterweight to offset 
the heavy loads that are gonna be on your front end loader. That could be something in your bucket, could be something in a grapple, but you need to be properly balanced, be planted to the ground. The last thing you want, look at that deer just running across there. You need to have that proper ballast weight or counterweight back here when you have something heavy on the front end loader because as you start to lift up there, you're gonna get light back here, and wanna lean forward. So you wanna keep your rear wheels firmly planted on the ground, get yourself some ballast weight. Pallet forks are one of the handiest attachments that you can have around and we sell a size, a combination to fit virtually every tractor that's out there with a John Deere Quick Attach or a Skid Steer Quick Attach. We can special order the Global or the Euro style Quick Attach and if you have a pinned on bucket then we can special order a, a, a special connection just to fit your loader there as well. So rest assured, no matter if you have a little subcompact tractor, a big utility tractor, even a skid steer, we're gonna have a set of forks to fit. We just got done using this electric spreader just a week or two ago, doing some frost seeding out here. We have a lot more uses for it to plant food plots, do some overseeding too as well, but this does not have a PTO shaft on there. You just put some gator clamps right on your battery. It has a control on it right here that you can see. So it's adjustable. The spread pattern is adjustable from just a few feet all the way to 40 plus feet wide. It's just an on off switch, super easy to control, very lightweight, poly hopper, good for seed, fertilizer, anything that's dry and granular, even ice melt pellets can go through here too. If you have a need for spring cleanup around your yard, around your property, a couple great solutions for that. We featured the sweep all, PTO driven sweeper. There's also a self-powered unit you can get as well, but good for detaching, good for cleanups on your lawn, on a parking lot, on a driveway, good for acorns and nuts and apples and uh, goose droppings, all sorts of different materials. It can be used year round on a big property. A lot of these municipalities and commercial outfits will use them. Golf courses, public parks, you name it. They're a very high quality commercial grade unit. As far as Portero goes, they're gonna be a three point mounted PTO driven dump from the seat option for material collection. So we use those all the time in the fall and in the spring for the leaf cleanup for the sticks. You can use it all summer long while you're on the lawn if you want to collect the clippings and toss them out back but no matter which one you go with you're looking at a high quality solution now i know most of us don't have the luxury of a cab tractor but you can still get out of the sun this is a cheap really a pretty cheap effective way to stay out of the sun keep those rays off of your face off of your neck and just provide that additional protection even some protection for the rain as well the difference with this canopy is that it is extremely lightweight. I think it's about 15 pounds, virtually indestructible. It's easy to take off and put back on. So if you want to go inside your garage or if you want to transport, it's a job that one person can do. So check it out, the Rhino Hide Canopy. Well, that's quite a variety of attachments we have available. Something for just about every task I can think of out there. We've shown a lot of these in videos and a lot more videos to come this year featuring a lot of other attachments, different projects, the trials, the errors. You gotta show things that don't work too, right? If we can shorten the learning curve for you guys or show you how something doesn't work, then you're gonna be better off for it and we're happy to share. So everything you see here is available at goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. We're happy to help. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.